What did his death teach you? What did you learn from that? Um, really, to go hard, you feel me, to get out the streets. You feel me? Go hard, get out the streets. And there ain't a place to be. So all the little kids, all the little boys, you, you don't need it. Let's stay out of the streets. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't worth it. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't jump in that water if you ain't ready. If you ain't ready to do the time, don't do the crime. You ain't got to act hard. Be yourself. Because all my homeboys know, they already know. If I wanted it, you feel me, to do something, I, I, I could. But, you feel me? I know a death of this magnitude, especially where somebody gets shot and killed, sometimes people, they turn cold. They become negative. They become a savage in a certain way. And then other people, when they go through a death like this, uh, they become strong. They become positive. They become motivated. Uh, how did you become after this death? I became... Shit, I, um... Like, my trust, that, that, that went down. Because, I don't know, it's just... Mm, I, I can't trust that no more, for real. For everybody to be on some old oh, shit. So you, you never know. You never know who on who. You feel me? So that's why I keep same people around me. You feel me? So everything else, business. When it comes to uh, Main G, what do you miss the most about him? Everything. Oh, um, God. Cause we we did the most stuff like still bikes everything. I remember one time we ran out of Walmart with bikes. <laughs> we ran out of Walmart with bikes. Police on our ass. We used to we used to have bandos and everything like just have our own houses like own parties. And we was young though, like 15, 14. We were just young living. Did you get uh, in trouble for the bike situation? Nah, no. Nah. We got away. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that answer with the bike situation fits this next question, but I'll ask anyways in case it's different. But do you have a favorite memory of him that you could share with us today? Oh, um, when we uh, graduated. When we graduate elementary, we were saying how we would go, um, how we would go, um, be on TV, Ryan Magic Car, cause we used to always talk about that, all the time, every, t like every day, every time we used to walk home from school, that was that what I miss walking home from school, elementary, that what I miss, cause when we stress free, it, shit, young niggas is wildin', for real. You ever mention him in, in, in any of your comedy or entertainment stuff? Oh, all the time. All the time. Every day. Every day he's somewhere. What do you think you would think of where you're at now with it? What do you mean, like? Like where you're at. I feel if I'm, where I'm at. Yeah, where you're at presently with the comedy, the entertainment stuff, what do you think he would think? He'll be proud. I'd hear, yeah, yeah, he'll probably be right here. You feel me? He right here next to me. But I know he is not old, but you feel me? I know he'll be right here laughing like a motherfucker. I already know. <laughs> I think he'll stay joking, though. Strong muscle. He's a little muscle short, cocky. <laughs>